The next set of halachot that we're going to learn is the halachot tefillah when a person is doing nidava or if a person is not sure and he prayed by mistake or is not sure if he's yatsa. So we'll learn the halachot. Halachot says as follows. Imu mesupak imitpalet. If he is in doubt, if he prayed, he's not sure, and he can't remember, did I pray in hot today or not? Did I pray at the office? Or did I not pray in the office? You know, a lot of times, you know, when the office has the minyan, that's about five minutes anyways. So it's hard to remember if you were part of that minyan, or you were in the middle of doing work, and you forgot if you even went to the minyan. So the halakha says, in such a case where you misupak, a person goes back and he prays again, He's not sure. He goes back and he prays. Vekodem she achzovi palel. In such a case, before you pray again, ya aset enashen edavavi omar. Make a nine. Make some kind of condition and say imani hayavi palel. If I really have to pray because I didn't pray, then in that case, the tefillah zo lechova. It should be a regular tefillah minha. This is the regular minya. This is the regular tefillah. But, I already prayed already. Maybe I already prayed, I'm not sure. In such a case, then in such a case, this should be Nedava. Now again, usually we're going to learn the halachot of Nedava. It's Nedava, a person has to be Mahadesh Davar. He has to come up with something uh, new, something new, new Hidush inside the Tefillah. He says, however, in such a case, where the guy is praying this Safek and he's not sure if he's praying as Tefilat Nedava or Tefilat Chova, in such a case, you don't have to make any kind of Hidush, and it's okay. Also, we know that today, in today's day and age, we don't do Tefilat Nedava. In general, we don't do Tefilat Nedava because anyways, we don't have Kavana. So to make another Nedava and you're not gonna have Kavana, what's the point? However, in this case, where the person is misupad, you should pray again. Being that again, that you're not sure, maybe I didn't pray at all. In such a case, a person should go and pray again, and we don't say this is considered like a real nedava. Rather, it could be considered like a par- partial tefillah, and therefore one should pray it in such a case. Also, this halakha applies. He prayed already. He knows he prayed. The only thing is, He's mesupak if he was yotzei yedeh chova or not. He's not sure if he said ya'ale be'avo. Right, there's halakha. The guy's not sure what he did. He's not sure if he had kavana in the berachot that are me'akev, where a person has to go back or not go back. So he's, he has safek if he has to repeat the amidah. In such a case, he's allowed to pray again. The second time is betorat tenai. Where he's making a tenai and he's making a condition. Uh-huh. If my first tefillah, which I prayed, I was already yotze, so then this is nedava. If my first tefillah, I wasn't yotze, so then this is my real tefillah minha, and therefore a person could be yotze. And again, the same halakha would apply. You don't need any kind of hindush in this tefillah, because this could be considered like a real tefillah, not a tefillah nedava.